Oh, boy folks, I'm going to make some salt jars today, salt pigs as they're called. Which is like a pot with a, an open spout at the top, on the side, sorry. Guaranteed to keep your salt dry. I don't know what the science is behind it, but uh, get on and make some. I've made these for ages, for months and months, so maybe a bit... But, uh, ...sloppy with them. So I'm just going to throw a cylinder first. quite thick at the top because I need to use that to, to colour it in and to, to completely close it in. So what I'm going to do now is first mop it out and then Totally enclose it at the top. form a little, little knob on the top. So you can pick it up. <coughs> so that's the body, it's not the best I've ever made, it's a little bit squat that one. And then what we do is we throw another pot to make a spout, so just throw the little mouth part. This I'm going to go straight down right through to the back because it wants to be hollow, have no bottom to it. And I'm just sort of gauging it by eye, the size. That's about the right size. See that's not got any that's straight through to the back. And basically the idea is, which I'll show you later, is that gets stuck on the front of there like so. And then you can cut a hole in there and then you've got a hollow pot that you can get your hand in. So I'll show you that tomorrow when I start putting them together. 
Well, hi folks, day two now, so I'll show you how to put these salt, salt jars together. As you can see, I've just turned this a bit, trimmed it a bit. So it's it's nicely trimmed. And with the, the mouthpiece, I've just cut it off, basically. So you can see what it's like, just a hollow thing. So now what we do is, get a bit of slip out of my wheel, and just dab some on the bottom of this mouthpiece. Like so, and then what I'll do, I'll try and do it so you can see it from the front. I'm just going to plonk that on. Obviously I've not cut the hole in yet. So I'm just going to plonk that on. I'll just make sure it looks in the right place. Squeeze it on so that the, the slit touches the clay. And then I'll take it off and what we should be left with is... the markings of where the hole should be. So what I'm going to do with a, a needle is just cut cut the hole out on the inside of the slip mark. So I'll do that. So that's that bit cut out. So now you're left with a pot with a great big hole in. So what we do again now is just place this back on. It's quite hard doing it from this, this angle because I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll just squeeze it on again. And what we do to properly join it is by using your thumb it's made like a pie crust pinch all the way around so if I can show you so you get that sort of effect and that welds it to the pot so I'll just go all the way around trying to keep it in in view doesn't take very long and it's a nice little detail. Try and get these to match up at the bottom. So two more. So that's it done. But what needs doing now is it just needs a little bit of tidying up on the inside. So just using your finger and a bit of water. Just smooth the smooth the little any little seals there are, any little rough bits. And I'll just finally shape it. So there we have it. A salt pot. The final result. And put your salt in there, it keeps it dry. So that's it folks, a salt pot.